Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a how to do pink and purple ombre hair tutorial. So first I'm going to tell you how I did it, then I'm going to show you how I did it. <laughs> so yeah, so the first thing I did was I bleached all of my hair and it was kind of light blonde, I guess. Um, it wasn't like platinum blonde. And then with my extensions, they were just the same color as my hair. So first, once my hair was all bleached and blonde and everything, I put my extensions in. So I put my extensions in, and then in the mirror with my pink hair dye that I like made and everything, I'll show you how to do that too. <laughs> but um, it was looking in the mirror, and I was like, okay, so I want my ombre to start about like right here. So I just put the pink in a little bit. I didn't do it perfect. I just put like a line where I wanted it and then dragged down, I guess. And then I did it to the other side. And then I took my extensions out and then I laid them down and then I'll show you later in the video exactly what I did after that. And then with my real hair, I dyed it all purple. I just put in the purple hair dye all, like, all over my hair except for my bangs right here and then a little bit on the side. I put in the same pink hair dye as the bottom and then I left that in for like an hour. So now I'll be showing you exactly how I did the pink and purple ombre effect on my extensions. My extensions were fading so I needed to touch them up but this will work just as good if you have blonde or bleached hair. I'm using Ultraviolet by Manic Panic, Bubblegum Pink by Enrage Color, Conditioner, it does not matter what kind you use, a spoon and a toothbrush. First, I poured out some conditioner and added some pink. I mixed it till I got a color I like. Then I laid down an extension and put the pink at the bottom. I added the purple, then with the brush, I blended the two colors together by brushing the purple into the pink. I then did that to the rest of my extensions. Once you have them all done, you can go back and add the leftover dye. I left the dye in for about an hour and then washed it out with shampoo and a little bit of conditioner. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.